Hey, what is up, my beautiful people? So today we are going to be opening up some mystery boxes and a mystery pack. And before we get started, I kind of want to mention something about them and you know what they're about. So first off, we have the VIP box and then the fanny pack. So the VIP box, they come from a, a shop called Poke Collect, and Poke Collect is pretty famous for like collaborating with um, big Pokemon YouTubers like Mystic Seven and Unlisted Leaf. So Poke Collect, the one that made the VIP boxes, they have a, a shop out in Alabama, and you know that's where they have like their HQ or whatever. And what I like about them is that if you go to the website, they have like a lot of fun mystery boxes and mystery bags that are themed around something, you know? Like if you go to the website, you get like a mystery bag ghost edition that is centered around ghost Pokemon, legendary edition, Japanese edition, starter box, you know? They have so many mystery boxes and mystery bags of different types. And it's kind of fun to just pick one out and open it. You know, it's pretty cool to check out. So anyway, the Poke Collection VIP box retails for $65. It's kind of pricey, but it does come with some pretty cool stuff. All right, so now Fanny Pack. The Fanny Pack comes from a Pokemon YouTuber called Danny Phantom. Now, the thing about him is he talks about Pokemon cards, you know, a big Pokemon fan, and he decided to make his own mystery pack. Now, normally when people make mystery boxes and mystery packs, you know, you usually, you either get ripped off or you get like something that's not really worth the value of what you paid for. So Danny Phantom, Fanny Packs. So what he did, to fix the mystery pack mystery box problem he said that he's going to give you the guaranteed value of what you pay for these packs so these packs they retailed for 28 bucks and they come with seven packs and danny he valued the packs at about four dollars a piece so seven packs valued at four dollars seven times four is 28 which is what he sold them for is 28 bucks because at the end of the day even if you don't get anything good you're still going to walk away with seven packs which are worth four a piece which is 28 bucks so in other words you're not going to lose any money all right if you get the worst the worst quote unquote worst pack of his bunch you're still guaranteed a sun and moon pack so in reality no matter what you're gonna walk away with more of the value all right so anyway let's open these up enough of me talking and yeah let's just see what we get and one more thing the packs i'm not gonna open any i'm just gonna set the booster packs aside for something else but we're not gonna open up any booster packs today all right so let's get started all right so to start off we're gonna start off with one of the vip boxes and then we'll open up the fanny pack and then we'll open up the other vip box i think that's a pretty fun way to do it let me know if you agree all right so the pokey collect vip box this retails for 65 bucks 65 dollars if you want one of these what comes in one of these so right here it says there's a vintage hollow wizards of the coast seated one in ten it comes with one psa cgc or bgs graded pokemon card one premium foil card and five booster packs so that's what you get in the vip box and then here on the side it says there's a charizard seated in one in ten there's the top and there's the bottom all right so if we assume that the packs are worth four bucks a piece four times five is 20 this retails for 65 so essentially if you want to get the actual value for your money you have to get something really good with the foil card or the graded card all right so let's open this up all right all right all right man let's see what we get in here so right here are the five booster packs we get a nice little pokey collect sticker right there this sticker right there lost origin Fusion Strike, Silver Tempest, Paradox Rift, Crown Zenith, and that is not a bad lineup. I actually like these packs right here. They're not bad. They're not bad. I'm cool with that. And boom. Wow. All right. So that is a Charizard right there. And I think that's from Paradox Rift, right? What do you guys think? Do you like that? That's pretty cool. All right, so I think I so I hit the Charizard. I mean, I think that's what I wanted, right? That's pretty cool. I like it. I can't complain about that. So what do you think we got for the graded card? CGC? I can't see which card it is. I meant nine and boom. That's a Tyranitar, boy. Yo, that is pretty sick, dude. Oh, man. Japanese Clay Burst Art Rare. Yo, that card is cool. I haven't seen this card before. Like, this is definitely a new set, 2023. No, I haven't seen this card before, but that's cool, man. That's really cool. I have no idea how much it goes for. I have to look it up later, but I'll put it up on the screen just to give you guys an idea of how much it goes for. So between these two cards, the Charizard, 
Tyranitar, CGC9, and the five booster packs. I'll put up the value up on the screen so you guys could get an idea of how much value I got out of this because I have no idea, man. I know this card is pretty popular. I don't know if the Japanese version goes more than the English version, but don't worry, I'll put up the price in on the screen and let me know let me know what you guys think. Do you like this? Do you think it's pretty cool or what? Yeah, give me your thoughts. That's not bad, man. I can't complain. I actually like that. Can't complain at all so remember that box the vip box there's 65 bucks all right keep that in mind all right fanny pack the bag is pretty simple fan clan fanny pack let's see what's inside all right let's see what we get seven packs paradox rift paldia evolved fusion strike astral radiance silver tempest shining fates and Hidden Fates. All right, so I had to look it up because I wasn't sure, but Shining Fates is from the Sword and Shield era and Hidden Fates is from the Sun and Moon era. And yeah, I was a little bit confused because they are both special sets. So the Sun and Moon pack is the Hidden Fates pack. This is from Sun and Moon. And then the rest of these are from Sword and Shield, which includes the special pack Shining Fates, the regular packs. So I'm gonna put up the value of all these packs right here up on the screen. I mean, I know like, some of these right here, like Astro Radiance, Fusion Strikes, Silver Tempest, these currently go for like $4 a piece. But Hidden Fates and Shining Fates, I'm not 100% sure, but I'll put up the value on the screen. And yeah, man, for sure, guaranteed, you get more value from the pack than what you paid if you paid retail. I didn't pay retail. Retail is 28 bucks. I didn't pay retail, man. I paid like 50 bucks, man, but you don't gotta tell anybody that. So anyway, there you go. Not bad, not a bad lineup. Can't complain. All right, so last but not least, we got the second VIP box from Pokey Collect. Again, one graded card, one premium foil card, and five packs. And yeah, let's see what we get. Hopefully we'll get something else that's pretty cool, man, because that Tyranitar was badass, man. All right, all right, all right. These are pretty fun, aren't they? Let me know what you guys think of these. Let me know if you like what you see. You probably got a little peek right there, but I don't know what I, like, I didn't see anything, all right? I didn't see anything. All right, so. This one didn't come with the sticker. Huh. Yo, where's my sticker at? Pokey Collect. <laughs> All right. Obsidian Flames, Silver Tempest, Paradox Rift, Scarlet and Violet, Pokemon 151. Cheers. Raise your hands up in the air. Badass set. And then the specialty card is. Jirachi. Yo, that card is pretty sick, man. I like the colors. I've seen these cards before, but I don't think they go for that much, but the colors are really sick, dude. Look at that. Oh yeah, that's cool, man. That's pretty, that's really cool. But I don't think these cards go for that much. I, I don't know what set this is from. You know, you guys let me know. But not a bad card. That Charizard though, the other Charizard, that was, that was a pretty badass card. All right, then for the graded card, what do you guys think, man? What do you guys think? Entei, Entei Special Art, Japanese. Yo, that card is pretty sick. Gem Mint 10, 2022 Pokemon Japanese, Sword and Shield, Full Art, Entei, V-Star Universe. I've seen this card before, man, and I think they look sick, man. Entei, Suikin, and Raikou, ooh. Yeah, that's pretty sick, man, that's a sick card. But I don't know how much this goes for, man. There's a Gem Mint 10 Japanese version. I don't know if it's worth more than the English version. No idea. But there you go, let me know what you guys think of that. So for the two graded cards, VIP box, we got a Tyranitar, Entei. I'll make sure to put the value up on the screen for this card. So I got those two. And then for the premium foil cards, I got those two. But yeah, let me know what you guys think of this video. You know, let me know what you think of the Pokey Collect VIP box. And let me know what you think of the Danny Phantom Fanny Packs. So from what I've seen so far, man, I like both of them. I think they're both cool and they're both like fun to open. The Pokey Collect, if you go to the website, they have like a ton of mystery boxes, a ton of mystery bags with like different types of themes. You know, so definitely go check them out. And Danny Phantom, as far as I know, he's currently not selling any of the Fanny Packs. I think he said he might release them again sometime in the future, but for now um, they're sold out. So if you guys do want to scratch that itch of buying mystery boxes in mystery packs, go check out Poke Collect. I'll leave a link to them in the description. But yeah, let me know what you guys think and let me know if you want to see more videos like this. And yeah, I'll talk to you guys in the next one, right? Peace out.